Everybody. You can see I'm up at one of my schools today. I'm going to turn today's uh, video into a little q and I'm going to be answering some of y'all's questions and I'm going to be asking some for y'all. It's just supposed to be a pretty day today. And I'm going to get started up here and I'm going to do a little hunting while I'm answering some questions and stuff. Some of y'all keep asking about what kind of setup I run my camera on. Mine's a real simple setup. I've got a GoPro. In fact, I'm using a brand new one today. We're gonna see how it goes. But all I have done is taken a screw and put it through the bill of my cap and mounted that bracket there that holds the GoPro. I just made a new hat. My other one just got completely wore out. But that's pretty much how I run it. Trying to get the angle right on these cameras if you decide to do it this way is <laughs> a little trial and error. I've done it long enough, I've pretty much got it down, but it can get a little complicated running them like this. Anyways, that's how I set mine up. I said pretty simple, just I tried every kind of mount that GoPro made and didn't like any of them, they wasn't stable enough. So I just put that screw through there and mounted it directly to the hat. First question, I guess, about how often do I go back to a place and hunt? I try not to hunt a place no more than about once a year. I have permission to actually 45 different schools across eight different counties. It's taken me a long time to get the amount of permissions I have. But like I said, I try not to hunt them no more than about once or twice a year. And I get asked a lot, how come my targets are so shallow it's because 52 53 is I don't hunt places over and over and over I try to give them time to get new targets especially at these schools there's a nickel to start out with this morning and as you can see probably two inches deep a lot of my targets are shallow because I don't hunt places real often if you go to a park over and over and over and over yeah your targets are going to get deeper and deeper and deeper because you're going to dig out all the shallow ones Forty-seven to forty-nine, probably gonna be a little piece of can slow. But that has a lot to do with why I have shallow targets. As you just can't hunt places over and over and over. Oh, the old pencil eraser. And in some places too, I have one place, all the targets were probably about six inches deep. And the reason being is they had put field dirt on top of it. So you gotta kinda figure out too whether the school has moved some dirt around and stuff like that. And some of y'all ask how I pick targets to pass on. There's one there. It's going anywhere from 29 to 52. I'm not going to dig that target. That's more than likely just a piece of trash. 
And that's how I judge how to dig my targets and pass on some. Real jumpy targets are nearly always trash. There's difference in opinions on that. They dig everything. Of course, play around school, you're gonna get plenty of those pencil erasers. Just tell there's lots of little pieces of foil and can slaw here. Fifty-two, fifty-three. Either a pull tab or a nickel. And there's a nickel. I've had some of you ask too which pin pointer I use. I've used that Garrett Pro Pointer 2 for I don't know probably five or six years now. I just really like that pin pointer. I've got the carrot. I like this one here. It is simple on off and it's it's been a really good one. I really like it. I've never had any trouble out of it. It'll pick up a target in the ground up three inches deep. I just really like that one there even over the carrot. Seventy-nine, eighty. Sounds a little big. See how big that target is? That right there is one I'm gonna stop on. Cause I can guarantee you it's probably gonna be a can or something. And I don't like digging big giant holes at these schools. I've got some school permissions that I worked really hard to get that actually had banned metal detecting. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight, because guys had dug there with shovels and made big holes, and they just wind up banning. It took me a long time to get permission to them. Thought that was gonna be a quarter, but no dice. Just a piece of building stuff. And that's why I don't use a shovel up at schools because I've got a lot of them that would just run me off because they've run people off before because you use shovels up there and just guys just don't clean up well enough. Got another 52 here. See if we got another nickel. Or a piece of a bull tab. That one wasn't even buried. Another question y'all ask is do I ever hunt with anybody? Yes, I've hunt, hunted with a few people before. Uh, 4951. And I've had people want to come hunt with me. I'm more than willing to hunt with people. I've got no problem with that. And I've had a couple of guys say they were going to come hunt with me and then never showed up. 
But if anybody wants to hunt with me, I'm more than willing to go. I've got plenty of schools in other places. What is that? Oh, look at there. <laughs> Boy, howdy, that'll get you all excited. Not quite sure what it is, but that's a big old stone. Quite sure what it come off of, but man, woo! I wish that was a diamond. Pretty, anyways. But I've got very limited time I hunt. I still I have a full time job, and I only get to hunt probably once or twice a week. But if somebody wants to go with me. Come on and meet me somewhere. Like I said, I've got enough schools scattered all across East Texas. I'm sure we can find somewhere to hunt. I guess I got a question for y'all. Y'all want me to start doing just all live digs? I've tried to do that in the past. It is murder when I go to editing because I wind up filming so many pennies because pennies are one of the hardest ones to figure out. I found so many rings in the penny range thinking it's just a penny and it winds up being a ring. I wind up filming who knows how many pennies trying to catch the rings on a live dig. But if y'all just rather see all live digs, ah, pull tab. I can do that. Like I said, it just makes rough on editing, but that's my part. I can handle it. There's another one of those targets I wouldn't dig. Jumping from 39 to 51. When you see stuff laying there like that, you just got to know what it is. Just jump. tab or a pencil eraser. A pull tab. I dig plenty of them, just like everybody. Let me work around here and see if I can find a little better target. Here's one sounds a little better. 79 to 81. Somewhere in there. Just a penny. <laughs> Check it out, it's a wheat scent. Sometimes I get lucky up at these schools and get a weedy now and then. 
1941. That's pretty cool. like the pinpoint I rarely ever use the pinpoint on the machine itself what I usually do is just go over the target back and forth then narrow down on the target and start bringing the coil towards me and that coin or whatever that is is going to be right there just start out Wiggling the coil, bringing it back to you, and when you quit hearing it, it's right at the front of the coil, it's right there. Coming in at a solid 81. Probably gonna be a penny or a clad dime. And it's a clad down. I said that's how I do my pinpoint. I rarely ever use the machine pinpoint. It just chews up too much battery. But using that smaller coil does help too on pinpointing. You get those big giant nail coils, the 15 inch and stuff like that. Pinpointing gets a lot harder, but the little five by eight i'm using it again today instead of the sniper i think the five by eight works better up at schools than the sniper coil sniper coil works real well at old home places and old parks but i like the five by eight up here at schools around all the concrete and metal and stuff it just i can control it better might be Lower 70, 71, 73. Not quite sure what that might be. Might just be an old piece of junk. Looks like a button of some sort. Ooh, it sounded a little different. Wait, let's keep looking around here. Seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two. One likely just a penny. But I don't know how many times. I've dug silver rings. They come right in there. Definitely not a silver ring, but not a penny either. I'm saying that one's just hard. That's a hard number to read right in those low 70s. Let's see what else we can find. Sixty-seven to sixty-nine. Nothing too interesting. Just a piece of aluminum looks like. I wonder if it was a little ring at one time. I doubt it. <laughs> it. Jumping from 69 to 75, 78. Let's see what that might be. And it looks 
looks like a knob off of something. You definitely tell it wasn't a coin, and it wasn't. Well, it's a heavy thing. Let's see if we can find something else. I saw the 52. Well, that sounds like a nickel. And it's a nickel. Old Jefferson. Oh, I mean old Jefferson. 1942. Oh man, almost a war nickel. Huh. <laughs> That's a pretty good nickel. 1942. Pretty much a solid 60. bullet casing that time. I'm going to say it's a 30-30 is what it looks like. Can't read it at the moment, but I think it's a 30-30. About the right size. Let's keep going. Jumping from 69 to 75. And there's one 81, 82. Let's dig this one first. These schools around here, pennies are about like pull tabs, they're everywhere. penny. Probably a copper since it's coming in 82. Well, 1974. Wouldn't well, surprise me if this is a zincan over here. Still in the hole. There it is, right there. Coming in in the seventies. Looks like it's going to be one of them little junker motor rings. That's how I find them. They get never penny and dime signal there is. I would almost swore that Probably because it's made out of some of the same stuff. See it all flaking off. There's a ring and a penny. Sixty-three, sixty-four, 
and just the old junky ring pull. Anywhere from 89 to 91. But usually at schools, it's junk. Hey, it's only a quarter, but at least it wasn't junk. I don't know why it's coming in that high, but yeah, I'll take it. 1991. Close this big old telephone pole. A A little old tag off of something. This globe. I don't know if you can hear it or not. My machine's sitting here a little, doing a little chattering. I've been asked about that before too. You start getting that chatter, the main thing you have to do, see them numbers jumping around, 22, 16, 39. Drop that sensitivity down. I dropped it down two bars. Now it's quiet as a mouse again. When you start getting that chatter and that EMI, which is electricity interference is what it is. It has to do with your sensitivity. Just drop your sensitivity down. She goes back to being quiet. A solid 80. make me work for this penny. Well, not a penny. But I don't know what it is either. Looks like just a piece of junk. Just a solid 87. Just a quarter barely under the dirt. About a quarter. A 66-67. I was asked what one of my favorite numbers is. My favorite number I guess would be a 67. Found a lot of gold rings at that range. But I've also found just tons of junk. There's you another 68, 67. <laughs> just a cruddy old zinkin. Forget about it. 
Here's I found another penny. Label in your or name in your videos. My video names are, you know, titles or whatever you want to call them, are going to start getting real generic. Because of this new thing YouTube's got going on, I don't know if all y'all heard about it, but it's called Copa. And they're flagging videos and shutting channels down and stuff over the child protective law. I got one of my videos flagged. Didn't think about it when I named it, but I said killer day at the school. And I guess one thing you really don't do is put killer and school in the same sentence. Or it will cause you a lot of problems. So now my videos will be just as generic as I can get them and as far as the title goes. There's that stinking penny. Because they're really getting cracking down on a lot of stuff. I think that COPA stands for Child Online Protection something or other anyways if you're under 13 and all and they got a whole bunch of stuff going on with it right now a bunch of channels are getting shut down and like I said one of my videos got flagged for that but either here or there I'll just be more careful about how I title my videos because when you get flagged like that your videos get Pulled from suggested videos and then your views go down the drain. It's a big mess with YouTube at the moment. Anyways, I don't think I covered everything I wanted to cover today, but if y'all like me doing a little more talking in the videos, let me know. I tend to just get caught up in the hunting and, and digging. I don't do a whole lot of talking on my videos. And another zinking to go with the pile. A lot of those today. But a lot of those every day. Anyway, there's a truck sitting right there. I faced a call of the day. I will see y'all at the rest. I was up hunting at a school again today, doing a little Q&A. I don't think I covered everything I wanted to get to today, but still had a fun hunt. Trying to figure out this new camera didn't help anything either. As you can see what I found today, all the odds and ends junk you get up there, batteries, and I'm not quite sure what that is. And screws and bolts and plenty of pencil erasers and pull tabs, just all the stuff you get up at the school it's got something written on it and I got that little knob and I wind up getting that bullet casing on all these four here sounded just like a ring got a little button and three washers always sound so good but just junk for the clad today I got three quarters two four six eight nine ten nickels counting that 42 dollar uh, 20 in dimes and I wind up digging 65 pennies and I keep saying the pennies around here I actually dig more pennies than I do pull tabs it's crazy Nobody likes pennies around here. And I got another little fancy blingy button. There's that 42 Jefferson. Almost a silver, but not quite. And I got a 1941 Weedy. I did get me one ring today. And you can see it's one of those little low mood style rings. It's coming all to pieces. Just a little junker, but still a ring today. And my best find of the day. I thought this was just going to be a little button, blingy button. Right on the back it says 925CZ. The post has been broke off, I don't really know, but it's silver and that's a big old giant CZ. Not that I thought it was anything else being that big, but still pretty. A little silver. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the hunt today. If you have any more questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below the video. As always.